Kazaki show on the trap. It's too sweet. Anyway, Pittsburgh kind of filled their GM vacancy today. Kind of. And while I'm probably late to the punch by a couple hours, Kyle Dubas is making his way to the Steel City. But kind of as a GM. We'll discuss. So earlier today, it was announced that Kyle Dubas, formerly Toronto's general manager, we've talked about it, right there. Anyway, Kyle Dubas was hired on as the president of hockey operations in Pittsburgh, which also includes the interim general manager role. That's why this one's relevant. It's an interim general manager, meaning he won't hold this spot for long. He might decide to, but I don't think he will. So after five seasons of being the general manager in Toronto and being, well, essentially parting ways with his old position some 12 days ago, he took the promotion to become the president of Hoppy Operations, which is not a bad thing, I mean... If anything, Dubas would be a good person to run a team, not so much build a team. Not to say that he can't, but there are some constants that came out of the presser today that are good to note if you're a Penguins fan. Mike Sullivan is going to stay put. According to Dubas, there's no expiration date on a coach like Sullivan. And the three core players, the two of them that are signed at least for the next four to six years, they're not going anywhere. They're holding true to what management has said from day one, that they're going to retire Penguins. Which, again, if you're a Penguins fan, that's a good thing, I guess. But just because they're staying doesn't mean there won't be change, right? Anyway, as interim GM, till at least July, he says, he'll go into the draft and at least to the start of free agency. And, well, I mean, the biggest free agent off the top of my head that I can think of in Pittsburgh, would be Tristan Jari. So maybe a change in net is not a bad thing, but not to say that Jari is a bad goalie, but maybe a change in net is a good thing. Now, I did say he could flip the interim position and turn it into a promotion or take it on another responsibility himself. And this is just my opinion. I really don't think he's going to do that. And I think it would be in his best interest to leave the building of the team to someone else while you just run the day-to-day, -day, right? Right. But either way, I mean, hopefully he brings in a really good kind of candidate for general manager because Pittsburgh could really use a good sweep-up. And for a team that missed the playoffs for the first time in 16 seasons, that's pro that probably still doesn't even sit well with a lot of players. And the, the weird thing that came up, and I want to go back to Dubas's presser in Toronto at the end of the season, was in that press conference, Dubas had said, you know, it was Toronto or nowhere. He was going to either stay as the general manager in Toronto or not go anywhere else. But here we are, some 12 days later, and he's your interim GM in Pittsburgh. But according to Dubas, it was the conversation between Sullivan Crosby himself and his wife that kind of opened the door and let him take this opportunity. So there's that. But until a new GM is found, if a new GM is found, Dubas is in on the interim basis for the moment. So until, until that day, it's essentially his team. So let's see what he does with it before a general manager comes in. Let me know your thoughts with Kyle Dubas on an interim basis as your general manager in Pittsburgh. Another one of his hockey shows. I well, thank you for tuning in. Don't think I don't appreciate the gesture, especially if you made it right here. If you did, hey, that's that's a great thing. I truly do appreciate it. My algorithm appreciates it. Let's keep this good thing going, right? Give me a like if you made it this far. If you like what I'm doing, if you just want to say hi, hit that like. That red button that says subscribe all over it. Come on, you know you want it. We're thirty away. Let's make 250 happen. Hit that button. It'll make you feel good. The link to that social I never use. It's in the description down below. 
So moving forward, I want to do two prediction videos for tonight. Hopefully you stick around for those, but either way, in the meantime, in between time, be looking for more videos from Trev. Data.